These videos are intended to be used to complement the instruction of this subject by classroom teachers as a teaching aid, by independent learners as a review tool to enhance and improve the understanding of these topics, resulting in improved performance in CSEC examinations. Segment 3. Calculation of rafter sizes and roof members. Determining the length of the common rafters. After installing the wall plates, the next step in the construction of the roof is to lay out the rafters. We will begin by laying out the common rafters. However, before we do this, we first need to determine its length. The theoretical length of a common rafter is the shortest distance between the outer edge of the wall plate and a point where the measuring line meets the ridge. The length may be found along the measuring line and may be calculated by using Pythagoras' theorem, applying the unit obtained from the rafter table on the framing square, stepping off the length with the framing square and using a specially designed calculator. For this exercise, we will use the rafter table on the framing square to determine the length of the common rafter and to lay it out. The framing square may have one or two types of rafter tables on the blade. One type gives both the line length of any common rafter per foot of the run and the line length of any hip or valley rafter per foot of the run. The difference in length of the jack rafter, spaced 400 mm or 600 mm on center, is also shown in this table. The other type of table gives the actual length of a rafter for a given pitch and span. Before we begin the installation of the rafters, we first need to determine the pitch of the roof. The pitch is determined by dividing the rise of the roof by the span. Now that we have determined the pitch, we can go ahead and take the reading from the rafter table to determine the length of the common rafter. This table is used in connection with the marks and figures on the outside edge of the square. Determining the length of the hip rafters. The length of the hip rafter will be different from that of the common rafter. However, the rafter table on the face of the framing square also gives the length of the hip rafters. The same procedures for laying out the common rafter can be followed to lay out the hip rafter. The unit of rise will remain the same. However, the unit of run for laying out hip rafters is 17, which is a constant number for laying out hip rafters. To determine the length of the hip rafters, follow the row that says length of hip or valley rafter per foot of run on the rafter table. Locate the number 17 on the outer edge of the blade and look for the corresponding number directly under that number. To get the overall length of the rafter, we must add the length of the overhang and minus half the width of the pole. Determining the length of jack rafters. The hip jack rafters are the final set of rafters that we will lay out, cut, and install. Three methods can be used in framing these rafters. They are 1. The longest jack method. In using this method to frame the hip jack rafters, first find the length of the longest jack, which is a common rafter then count the spaces between jacks and divide the length of the longest jack by the number of spaces. The quotient will be the common difference. The next step is to frame the longest jack and make each jack shorter than the preceding one by this common difference. 2. The shortest jack method. In using this method, first find the length of the shortest jack. Take its spacing from the corner measured on the wall plate. This measurement will be equal to the jack's run. The length of this first jack will be the common difference, which must be added to each jack to get the length of the next longer jack. 3. The framing table on the square. 
A rafter table on the framing square also can be used to lay out hip jack rafters. The table will indicate the length of the shortest jack rafter corresponding to the various spacing, such as 400, 500, and 600 millimeters between centers for various pitches of roofs. This length is also the common difference and thus serves for determining the length of all the jacks.